Three baby girls were delivered at the Scarborough General Hospital this morning, the first arriving shortly after midnight. The first of the batch of tiny fingers and toes showed themselves shortly after midnight at the Scarborough General Hospital. Bundle of Joy, Blessing Forrester, was born at 12.22 a.m. Her mother, Lori Forrester of Lowlands Tobago, said she was grateful for the safe delivery. She insisted, however, this was her last time around. For those wishing to have children, she offered these words of advice. This is what you want, because when you're reaching to it, no turning back. <laughs> you gotta see it through. Two hours later, at 2.22 a.m., baby Sarai Marie was born to Takia Mahabal. And at 6.36 a.m., baby was Kalani Nori, who was born to first-time mother Sharice Alfred of Bethany, Tobago. Members of the Tobago House of Assembly and the Tobago Regional Health Authority were present at the hospital bearing gifts for the mothers and their baby girls. Meanwhile, Chairman of the North Central Regional Health Authority, Mr. Steve DeLasse, is praising the staff at the Mount Hope Women's Hospital as they welcome the first babies at the facility for 2019. Cameraman Nigel Alexander was in Mount Hope and Ian Wieson gives us a roundup of the Trinidad New Year babies. The first baby born in Mount Hope for 2020 was born to Dan Ray Durham at 12.26 a.m., a six-pound girl, a third girl for the proud mother. Happy is, 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 a, is a joy because I have a lot of brothers and brother-in-laws, so a lot of girls coming into the family now. Yes, I'm tango that everything is okay. What's her name? Five years ago, Durham was also the first lady to give birth on Christmas Day. The third baby born in 2020 in Mount Hope was born to Nicola James. She had her third boy and fourth baby overall. She said the service was good and she experienced no problems during her stay. Chairman of the North Central Health Authority, Steve DeLas, stressed the authority intends to maintain the 0% maternal deaths at the facility in keeping with world standards. The facility has what it takes. What you need to do is to harness the potential of the people, giving them the means necessary, small items, but ensuring that there is a collaborative effort by all. In San Fernando, the first baby was born to Mrs. Shona Bascom Mitchell at 228, her first baby. It was a bit challenging, but it's rewarding at the end of the day. In the Eastern Regional Health Authority, the first baby was born to Janissa Carter at 12.40 a.m. Chairman of the Health Authority, Ms. N.Z. Rollins Clark, was on hand to present her with a hamper. Ian Wason... TTT News.